What's up, you guys? This is Hells to the Rescue coming at you guys with a, a new unit today. It's a beautiful Tuesday. I did have a hectic day, which is why I wanted to make sure I came up here to share this beautiful unit with you guys. This unit is very, very natural. Can you dig it, baby? Mm-hmm. Look at that. You know, I had to go get the to go get a beret or something of a choice because it just got black written all over it. <laughs> so, anyways, let's get to this wig. So today's wig is an outre lace front wig. Just so you guys know, I tend to try to purchase wigs that I can wear every day at work, but also different wigs that I could kind of switch up styles on just in case, depending on the event, okay? So this wig here, like I said, is an outre lace front wig. It is in the style test. Um, I was able to get this wig in a 1B. I originally got it in another color that, you know... I'm going to insert the pictures up in here and you guys be the judge if it look good on me or not. But I, I just had to have it. So when I finally got to that doggone black, oh, oh, baby, when I tell you when I was able to get it, I was just a happy camper. Um, I just decided to decorate this wig up because it, it, it's definitely a conversational piece. So anyways, as you can see, this wig here. It, it, it's it's awesome. It's groovy, baby. That's what it is. It's groovy, baby. Okay, it's groovy. So this here is what the stock car looks like on her. As you can see, that L part right here. I just want to let you ladies know, I did tweeze my part a little bit, and I did add concealer on here, um, to kind of blend in with us, give the wig a more sculpture look. You know, little scalp look. You know what I'm saying? So. I did do that. Um, again, if you guys want to know the colors, listen, you're going to want this in a 1 on 1 B, okay? Okay? Because you're going to be stunting in them 70s parties, all them events. So you're going to see Black Panther, you dig, baby. You're going to be looking good, baby. You're going to be looking good with this one. You're going to be looking good. It's, it's giving me a blown out look. This is a more 70s, 80s look that I'm really feeling. And yes, I did go and get the glasses to kind of just help bring this wig out to its full potential. You know what I'm saying? But you guys can do whatever you want with your wigs. You can send me pictures of how you guys look in your wigs. Because at this stage and point in time in my life, I'm totally wig addict out. Okay, I'm an addict. I look at wigs for enjoyment, for pleasure. It's incredible. So, if you guys have Tess, please, please, please tag me in your picture so I can see what y'all did with Tess, okay? This here is what I decided to do for the video. I did purchase this with my own money, by the way. Um, So, because I, I have been purchasing wigs now for about two, three years now, out of my own pocket, I tend to always go for wigs that I can wear to just about any event. And I promised myself that I would do colors more, but for the most part, I try to stick to wigs like this because i mean it's groovy baby you know what i'm saying it, i could dig this you know i could work with this so kudos to outre for this lace front now let me show you guys what's on button underneath this here cow so i've had this wig i purchased this wig in december last year um so i've been wearing it well, not December. No, 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 I'm lying. I've purchased this wig maybe October. So I've been really busting this wig out on a special occasion that required me to look real natural and cute. So just to kind of comb this out because it got a little bit rabbled up underneath the hat. I've been wearing the hat walking around here like I'm a mercenary because I'm a revolutionary. And a revolutionary will be televised, as they say. Well, as the quote goes. Anyway, so this here, as you can see, this here is the part. I tended to try to tweeze in this area. Right up in here. I added concealer. Right up in here. Right? So it looks really, really natural. Okay? And, um, 
you know, you can definitely push this wig back and take out your edges because that gives it a more, even more natural look. Um, a lot of people ask me, oh my gosh, is this your hair blow dried out? And I was like, no. And then I just started lining people saying, yeah, girl, I think I'm going to cut it. So, and they just be like, no, don't cut all that beautiful blow dried out hair. And I'd be like, girl, I'm going to cut it more. But anyways, so let me show you guys what this wig is looking like. I'm five foot four. Okay. Um, keep in mind that I have been wearing this wig since I brought this wig. I don't wear it every every day. I try to give my wigs a week tops and then I trans you know, I trans them out for something else. I swap them out for the next wig as I go. And I just like doing that because whenever I have an issue with my tool or something, I just switch a wig and I'm a whole different person and I'm a whole different mood. So these ends will get frazzled, you guys, as you wet this wig out more and more. I have sweat in this wig. I have worked out in this wig. I have, I went to the store in this wig with like a, a bra and a little strap top like this and was sweating down. And uh, no lie, this wig still held the test of time. Um, This is a great everyday wig, you guys. I definitely will... Definitely, definitely, definitely say that you should probably have this wig as a staple. This wig have inspired me to go out and get the Outre Nisha wig. I did wear the Nisha wig out. Um, It's just with the Nisha wig, it's way more thicker than this. Like, if you guys think this is thick, y'all gotta see Outre Nisha. Outre Nisha is, baby, it's a lot of hair. The, the texture of it is really yakky felt. And, I mean, man, again, dude, you can, like, straight iron this. I don't want to flat iron it because I'm afraid that the color might change. I have heard that a lot of people have blow-dried this hair once they washed it. So, I'm going to definitely try that to try and keep the texture because I love the texture of this wig. Like, it's just, it's beautiful. I'm loving it. I'm digging it. This is an everyday wig. That is my son over there, by the way. I do apologize. So, yes, yeah, so this wig is definitely an everyday wig. I will post links in the description box of all the prices that I can find this wig for going right now. Um, Keep in mind, though, that the 1 and the 1B is, like, always a color that's sold out. Always sold out. Always. So, don't fret or nothing. And if you can't get it, definitely get it. It came in a standard outre form. Outre packaging. Yeah. So, you guys definitely have that option of uh, looking this up. This is definitely a keeper. I mean, look at that, man. I mean, you just can't. Like, you know, it, it's a really good wig, y'all. Overall, this wig is really, really good. You guys definitely need to look at look more into this wig. Um, I've seen different YouTube bloggers do a heck of an amazing job with this wig as far as decorating it, prepping it up, uh, styling it, and things of that nature. So definitely look into it. And uh, this was Hells to the Rescue. Definitely subscribe to my channel. I am a new YouTuber. I'm just starting out. Girl, look at that. Nah. You are the one. Like, I don't know. I just get a 70s, 80s vibe with this big hair, man. It's, it's coming back, I'm telling y'all. So, definitely, definitely, definitely look into this. Um, Again, my name is Hell to the Rescue. Please check out some videos on my channel or subscribe if you want. Um, And just stay tuned to more videos coming to you on other wigs. Thank you guys so much. And you guys have a great day.